we it's a blink of the evolutionary eye we've only been reading for basically 5,000 years it's nothing it is a wonderful thing to remember that this is one of the newest inventions of the species but the children who are among us with dyslexia have always been there and they've always been there for a reason they have a very important role to play that brain in our design in our art in our building in our thinking in novel ways they've been doing that pre five thousand years only in the last even hundred years have we called it a uh, something that would have a name that would sound like a disease The heart, I mean, uh, for me, the heart of some of the emotional difficulties our kids have as consequences of learning disabilities begins with the fact that people equate being able to read with being smart, with, with intelligence. Reading involves many aspects and it involves the use of our intelligence. But if you realize that reading only exists as the circuitry that connects intelligence to itself. It's not about intelligence. That intelligence already exists independently. It's being connected to the circuit. Reading is, as you know, is to me one of the great miracles of cognition, but it's not equatable with intelligence. Some of our children with dyslexia are some of our most intellectually gifted humans. It's a form of intelligence. It's a form of brain organization that they have that leads them to be oftentimes our artists, our architects, our pattern recognizers in radiology and astronomy. But they think often outside the box of our conventional left hemisphere thinking. I love them. I, I, our species would never be what it is without that form of brain organization.